What's up, Out the Mud? It's your girl, Monica, coming to you at O Dark 30. I'm getting up earlier and earlier these days. So, yeah, I want to tell you guys about my soap cutting experience. It was pretty cool. I got this soap cutter off of Amazon, and I ordered it back when I ordered all of my soaping supplies. So I'm just checking it out, trying to see how it works. And I'm getting my loaf out. Again, not the prettiest loaf of soap, but it's mine, okay? And I'm setting up the thing so it's a one-inch cut. So it was like a really smooth cut. It felt like you're cutting cheese. When I started this process, it was kind of awkward at the beginning um, just because that little wire was catching at the, like when I would push down on it, it would kind of catch at the bottom. So I figured out that I needed to kind of lift up on the long part of the loaf as I was pushing down on the other part so that it would kind of make a clean cut. So once I got that figured out, it was smooth sailing from there. The recipe was actually a four pound recipe and this loaf mold is a five pound loaf mold. So I had a little bit of room to spare and I'm thinking the bars may have turned out a little bit bigger had I used a five pound recipe, but I'm not mad at the size of these um, bars. They fit in the palm of your hand. Um, I like the one inch thickness. I think I'm going to stick with that. And so, yeah, I ended up, I think with 18, 18 bars of soap from four pounds, which I was like, wow, that seems like a lot. Like I was maybe expecting 10. I don't know what I was expecting really, but 18 bars of soap from one four pound loaf, which again, that's going to last us. You know, I told the kids, I said, these are your new soap bars. You know, they use like the little body wash or whatever, but I'm not buying anymore because why? I just made soap for everybody. And yes, I used it. I used it on my hands at first to do the lather test. Then I used it in the shower yesterday and I'm 100% satisfied with it. it. Well, I'll say this. I wish it would lather up quicker. And so I'm going to go and explore a recipe that will give me a lather quicker. I'm having to kind of rub it around a couple of times in my hand before the lather starts to activate. That's the only thing. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. No residue feeling. It's very creamy. Once I rinse it off, it's very like a clean feel. I don't feel a dryness. So I really, really like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to look for a five pound recipe next time. And that way I will be able to, you know, see what those bars look like. But you don't want a bar that's too big in your hand because, you know, that's just not good. So I like a nice, you know, size bar that will actually fit in the palm of your hand that you can out, that you can actually use with one hand without having to use two hands. So that's my goal for my bars of soap. But yeah, I'm excited. I cut my first loaf and I've got it all nice. I got it all boxed up. And I can actually tell that the scent will over time dissipate because right now when I walk by it, um, it smells really fragrant. But every time, like as the days pass, I notice that it kind of gets less and less. So had I not cut the loaf and left it intact, I'm sure I would have retained a lot of the scent. But because I did cut it up, of course, the scent is going to dissipate over time. But I am enjoying using my own homemade soap. I'm so glad that I did this. I'm going to be exploring my next recipe. Again, I'm going to be looking for a five pound recipe versus four pounds. And I'm looking for a lather that uh, soap recipe that lathers a little bit faster than the one that I have. So I'm going to be playing around with that. And I can totally see why they say that soap making becomes addictive once you get started because you want to find that recipe that just works perfectly for you. And again, obviously, I am a businesswoman, so I'm also looking at this from um, a capitalistic point of view. Like, I need to make something that not only is moisturizing for the skin, but also is aesthetically pleasing, and it helps do what I want it to do for the target audience that I'm trying to serve. So anyway, love it, love it, love it. I'm officially on the soap making journey, and I am not complaining. I'll see you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.